Howdy, my name is Rachel Blanchard and I'm here to talk to you today about haploinsufficiency. Haploinsufficiency refers to a situation where one copy of a wild type allele is unable to produce sufficient amounts of gene product for normal protein function. In other words, the normal allele doesn't produce enough enzyme to express the normal phenotype, meaning that the only way to have a normal phenotype is if you were homozygous for both wild type alleles. It's kind of like a kid buying candy from a candy shop. If you and your friends wanted a lollipop that was 15 cents but you only had one dime, then you wouldn't be able to afford the lollipop and you would probably have to settle for something not as great. But if you had two dimes, um, then you would have 20 cents and you would be able to afford the lollipop. And that's kind of analogous to um, being homozygous for both wild type alleles. It's important that we understand haploinsufficiency and its mechanisms because so many diseases are impacted by haploinsufficient genes like the TERT gene. The more haploinsufficient genes an organism has, the lower their fitness, which if passed on to subsequent generations can greatly impact species survival. Thank you for taking the time to listen.